humans. Homo sapiens. Just the name brings terrible thoughts. Death Worlder. Pursuit Predator. Apex Predator. But I'm here to tell you they are far, far more than just that. These people live on a planet with hundreds of ways to kill them, including an island home to all sorts of insane monstrosities. They live in areas that see the 30s centigrade. People live there as if it's just another city anywhere else. It's a dry heat, as they say. More still live in areas that have seen well into the negative 30 range. It's not that bad if you bundle up, they say. Humans have a long history of war. Long and brutal. To this day, they will fight each other at times. You will hear stories of their war fighting. Do not take them lightly. The t Daxes learned that the hard way. They made the mistake of taking them on after the Maradukon Prime incident. They pushed the humans back all the way to the edges of Sol. They fought back from that point, bit by bit, little by little. Then it was much more. Much, much more. My compatriots in their army told me, we just opened a fresh can of whoop -ass. One of the defining characteristics of a predator is determination. They will see something through to its end. Regardless of cost, in lives or credits, humans live this to an extreme. Sometimes you gotta grind it out. The termination of Tidaxis as a people, as a place, stands as a reminder. Both are no more. Don't start what you can't finish. They say that often. One of the many conundrums of humans is their compassion. As fierce as they are on a battlefield, they are as willing to help those in need. Dozens of worlds saw this firsthand. Look for the helpers, those who help others. Those are the good ones. When calamity strikes, a member of the council, humans, are often the first to arrive to help. They have entire fleets ready and waiting. Their sole purpose is to help others. The human race is pursuit predation at its peak, yet they are so reluctant to let the tiger out of the cage, as they say. When the Tidaxis started their war, the humans wore them twice. The Tidaxis did not lessen. When the humans began fighting in earnest, they warned them to leave their home system. Again, the Tidaxis did not listen. I'm here to kick ass and chew gum, and I'm all out of gum, one of the fleet commanders was recorded saying. They also possess a bit of psychological warfare acuity. Vengeance comes, and we are his messenger. That was the single broadcast they sent out before they struck out from their homeworld. Another soldier said, They done fucked around, now they're gonna find out. The initial wave of attack came from their outpost on their ninth planet. Like a swarm of angry bees, they were everywhere. They chased the Tidaxis across the stars, relentlessly hunting them down, leapfrogging battle fleets to keep them fresh and capable. The Tidaxis had nowhere to run, no refuge to find. Like a hound on the scent, they just kept going. You will find few as dedicated as the humans are. Each time they liberated one of the Tidaxis' subjugated races, their warfighters started rebuilding. One group of their warfighters, known as Seabees, were building as they fought. Seabees can do, is their motto. These men and women made them back up from the wastes, restoring them to the stars. Over and over, they pushed their resources to the limits. Mind, this was while they were rebuilding two of their own settled planets. They asked for one thing in return. Friendship. You find out who your friends are when you hit rock bottom. Actions speak louder than words. Humans are loyal to a fault. Leave none behind so others may live. Death before dishonor. These and many more can be found gracing the halls of their thousands of military bases. All speak to the loyalty of the human race. They will stop at nothing to save their own. Or their friends. I bear witness to this first hand. It's why I'm here. It's why the Moroduck people live on. They could not stand idle as the Tidexis brutally pillaged our worlds. Thousands of ships to say so view. They did not hesitate. They did not pause. Once more unto the breach, dear friends. I recommend you read this. The literal translation is best. It is a pretty good summation of a human when it comes to their loyalty to a cause. Humans are logistical masterminds. During the fourth battle of Satal, it became apparent they needed a faster way to get ships to the front. So they did what no intelligent race would. They built a shipyard, strapped a set of Matian 7-5 drives in it, by boarding wire, duct tape and peanut butter. Then they launched this insane contraption and used the time in flight to build up collections of ready-to-assemble ships, reclamation systems and more. When we thought they had done everything, they did it one better. They targeted the shipyard. 
filled innumerable counts of long-range MOM missiles with suppliers and fired them. At. It. The stories say they would catch the missiles by hand. To use a human phrase, it ain't stupid if it works, man. Humans are also reckless inventors. They have a saying, hey y'all, watch this. I can tell you from first-hand experience, if you hear those words, run like hell. They look at things in a way that can only be described as twisted. They take things that have no business being used for something and make it work. When a cellar glade needed the help of a specialist in fungal infections, they froze their best mind, put them in a tube, strapped on a Matian 125 drive, and launched it at Sally Gray Prime. They then sent line-by-line -line instructions on how to stop him and bring him back to life. As a compatriot of mine said at the time, sometimes you just have to say, what the fuck? Humans are passionate. This is as much a blessing as it is a curse. More than one angry human has gone off half-cocked, as they say. But these people are responsible for the Adaptable Flora and Fauna Genome Project. Quite literally a copy of every plant and animal that could be adapted to any climate, atmosphere or terrain. If you go to Maradukon Prime now, you will see desert wastelands. Scattered on those wastes are untold numbers of a uh, saguaro cactus. These plants store water. They also hold the soil in place. As our people move out into these wastes, they use these cacti as emergency water sources. Or because one of the many scientists lived in the state called Arizona, home of those very same cacti. It reminded me of home. As you can see, humans have many qualities beyond that of predators. As you step onto the galactic stage, I encourage you to take the time to get to know them. Yes, they have ways to make almost any non-predator wig out, as they say. I am sure it will happen to you, and you will not be alone. My people have learned to say, humans are as humans do. One thing you will learn... They are all of this and more. They will learn your ways, customs, traditions and manners, to make you feel at home. I hope you will come to see them as I have. They're the best things in sliced bread. Trust me, it will make sense when you've been around them for a while. Senator F. Banff Gazulp, Senior Representative of the Conglomeration of Maradok, during the orientation of the Teller Representatives as they joined the Council of Allied Worlds.